Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, Yasharal and Yahuda. Listen, listen, listen. I had some truth. And I and I have to get it out. I have to I have to declare Yahuwah's Basor of Truth by the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I give you praise. I give you praise first and foremost for Yahushua HaMashiach, your Basor made flesh. Yahuwah, the word that you have given to me. Yahuwah, I give you praise. For you gave Yahuwah, your, Yahushua, your word. Yahushua has given me his word, and I have kept his word. Yahuwah. I have received the Ruach HaKadosh. I have been endowed with power, Nunamos and Exousia and Yahuwah. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I give you praise. Yahuwah, I thank you and I ask you to take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, by the Ruach HaKadosh in me, I'm asking you to guide those that are under the sound of my voice into the truth of the Ruach HaKadosh and the truth of the Basor. Yahuwah, I pray in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach that the truth of the Basora would reign and rule in their lives and in their hearts. Yahuwah, that I would not cause any to stumble, to be turned out of the way, to come up lame. Yahuwah, to walk away from this Basora of truth, but Yahuwah, that it would bring them closer to you by the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahweh, I give your name to praise. I praise you for your Ruach HaKadosh. I praise you for your Ruach HaKadosh. I praise you for the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of truth, the Ruach HaKadosh of truth, your righteousness, your righteous seed in me. Yahweh, I give you praise. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, Yahushua, my strength and my redeemer. Listen, listen, Yashiro, Yahuda, wrapping in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. I have some truth. I have some truth. We're listening to none other than John, Pastor John J. Taylor. I got some truth album. The song is entitled, I've Got Some Truth. And listen, I don't own the rights to this music, right? But the fact is that by the Ruach HaKadosh, I have some truth. And it's for those who have an ear to hear. Now, not everybody's not going to receive it. Not everybody's going to hear it because everybody's not called to receive it and or hear it. It's only to those that he has called, those who have chosen. So, you know, my mission is to wake up Jacob. Yeah, yeah, to quicken Yasharal and to ignite Yahuda who are scattered, who must be gathered and return first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much confusion, right? So much deception. There's so much untruth, untruth, right? That is, that is infiltrated the nation, the quickening, the awakening. Yes, I got some truth. I got some truth of which without the Ruach HaKadosh, this truth, right? You ain't going to make it. Hallelujah. You ain't going to make it because you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. Again, none other than the pastor, John J. Tatum himself, off the I, off the CD, I Got Some Truth. The song is entitled, I Got Some Truth. And listen to this. I don't have the rights. I don't want to write this music. And this truth has to go forth, right? We're talking about righteousness, right? Right? We're talking about righteousness, a righteousness that... It's through Yahushua Hamashiach, a righteousness that is established in Torah, that foundation is in 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 the foundation of the world, the righteousness that comes as a result of the word in the beginning, the 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 spoken Basora Torah of truth. Listen. Yahuwah is calling for righteousness, right? Righteousness, righteousness that comes through the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. Righteousness that comes through having received 
the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, having received the witness in the Shamayim, Yahuwah, Abba, the word, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, they are testifying to what is in the Shamayim and in the Oretz. You know, the testimony is in the Ruach HaKadosh, the baptism and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. Right. So in order to understand, right, what Yahuwah is demanding and what he expects, you're going to have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, this Ruach HaKadosh is not, it's not Christianity. It's not Christianity. It's not that. It's not that. And you know, for my Christian. For, 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 for the people that I know that are Christians, right, even my family. You know, everybody's just Christians. Everybody, they go to church and they say they're Christians. You know, they're Christians, you know. And, and this whole Christian ideology, this whole mentality is twisted. It's warped. It's distorted. It's infiltrated. It's defiled, right? Because it's, it's, it's not based on Torah. It's not based on the Basura of Yahushua HaMashiach. It's defiled. It's been perverted. It's been destroyed. Distorted. This, 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 this Torah, this Pesora that they have taken from us, right? That Yahuwah has given to us, right? That we are to buy the Ruach HaKadosh to, to interpret, right? Right, right. They have taken it and walked out of, right? The, the construct of the Torah. Mashed, poshed, different elements of paganism into it to the point where now you have this evolved ideology of Christianity that dominates the world, right? It dominates the world, but it's the beast system. Yeah, it dominates the world. It's the beast system. The, 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 the religious orders of these systems are diabolical, right, right, right. They're not ruachal. They do not have the holy set apart spirit. Yeah, yeah, now, see, they believe that they have this holy spirit, this holy ghost, but it's impossible to have the holy ghost, right, the ruach hakadesh, and your foundation is out of order. Foundationally, you're out of order. You're out of order because you don't keep the basura of truth. You're out of order because you don't keep the commandments, right? You're out of order. You have other elves before you. You have elves of trees, elves of wood, elves of stone. You're out of order, right? So even, even, even in your attempt to bring understanding and clarity to the basura of the truth, it's not based on Ruako. Ruach, Ruach HaKadosh, guidance and governing and leading because you, you, you don't have it, right? Because you're, you're, you're out of order, right? Now you have a Ruach, you have a, a spirit, right? That's motivated that whole demonic entity that is called Christianity, right? It's a demonic entity, right? That can allow you to continue in sin, Right? And and take leadership positions and saying that's not that's not Ruach. Oh, there's nothing Ruach Hakadosh about that. Though you believe that you are in a relationship with Yahuwah and that He speaks to you in reality, He ain't said nothing. Right? Right? No, no, no. He ain't said nothing to you because you are not operating in obedience to the Torah. Yahushua said, if you love me, you would keep my commandments, right? But you don't keep the commandments. Yeah, yeah, no, you said they done away with. But Yahushua said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. I said, I've kept my father's commandments. Listen, how can you build an ideology upon untruth? It's a lie. Therefore, you do not have the Ruach HaKadosh. Therefore, you do not move and are not led by you. This, 
this is going to infuriate Christians. Right? This, this is infuriate a Christian. How dare you say it? You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh because you don't. You do not have Yahuwah's spirit because you're in disobedience. You're carnal. You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why you can go to church and sin. That's why you can go to church and sin. You can repent and sin and repent and sin. That's why you can go to church on a Sunday when Yahuwah has already declared from the ancient of Days and times that is your bodies on Saturday. You don't serve the same Yahuwah Lord as I serve. You don't serve the Yahuwah Zavaol. You don't serve the Yahuwah El El Yon El Shaddai. No, you serve a fabricated identity of some El that has positioned himself. To cause you to believe that you are something that you're not. Righteousness. See, righteousness is established in the truth. The truth of the Torah. The truth of the Basura. And I'm not even just talking about the, the, the original covenant. I'm talking about the new. The renewed covenant. That is established on these promises of the Torah. You can't expect, you cannot expect to understand it because you don't serve you. You can't divide this without the Ruach HaKadosh. You can't even understand it. You're in disobedience. Disobedience. Your leadership is in disobedience. The founders are in disobedience. The denominations are in disobedience. Every single last one of you are in disobedience. And you're going to die in that disobedience. You're going to die in that disobedience. See, because Yahuwah is calling his people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is calling his people, Yasharal and Yahuda, right? And he's demanding that you understand that you must have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to escape this judgment, right? In order to escape it, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to have his righteousness. He has to deem you righteous. He has to deem you righteous. And how is that done? How are you made righteous? By the Torah alone? Through faith in Yahushua HaMashiach, which is the Torah made flesh, having received his witness. The Ruach HaKadosh in you. The Father, the Son in you. Listen, you better get it in your head. This Ruach HaKadosh is nothing like what you have seen in the Christian church. That is not the Ruach HaKadosh. That is not what Yahuwah has given. That's not what he gave to the, the apostles on the day of Pentecost. No, that's not that. No, this is not that. This is not that. This is not that. This is not that religion that puts you in bondage. This is not that. This is that not that religion that there has not made apologies for persecuting the children of Yahuwah. Yeah, this is not that. Yeah, see, you, there's too many telltale things that reveal the nature of what this is. And it is not Yahuwah. It's not Yahuwah. It's not serving Yahuwah. It's not serving Yahuwah. 
It's not serving you who is not from a place of righteousness. It's not from a place of Torah. It's not from a place of obedience. Righteousness. Yahuwah will wipe out everything and everybody just to establish a righteous seed. Yahusha is going to send Yahusha. Yahuwah is going to send Yahusha. Yeah. And those that are his righteous seed are going to rake havoc on the unrighteous wicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's inevitable. Right, right. Because Yahuwah has put his Ruach HaKadosh in his sons and daughters. And they are out in the midst of the world judging it. Yeah, Sin, right? Because sin is a transgression of the law. Righteousness, because the seed of Torah is in us. The righteous Ruach Kadesh is in us. And in judgment, because listen, either you're righteous or unrighteous. And if you're unrighteous, you're filthy. And if you're filthy, you will remain filthy. And you will be judged. Judged. Righteousness. Yahuwah sent the Ruach HaKadosh to establish righteousness in the earth. Yeah. He had to. He had to. He had to establish the orders of the elves again. He had to, in order to put the kibosh on the earth. He had to, yeah, 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 yeah. In order to have quickened us, made us alive as elves in the earth, he had to. It was the means to the end. His death and the giving of the Ruach HaKadosh is the means to the end. Listen, we've won. Yeah, or listen, listen, listen. We have the victory. Because we are the righteous seed. Righteous seed. And you who? will do whatever it takes to establish his righteous seed. Yeah, listen, let's go into Genesis, the seventh chapter. Right? Genesis, the seventh chapter. Let's begin at the first verse. We only read a couple of verses of this, but it's to establish a point, right? And Yahuwah said unto Noah, right? Come thou and all thine house into the ark. Right? This large vessel, this large house that is to provide them. Yeshua, come in. Right? For I have seen righteousness. Right? Seen righteousness. I've seen this in you, this rightness, this refusal to, uh, to, 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 to accept sin and to this refusal to continue to allow something so diabolical that is in the earth to affect you. Yeah. You're righteous. You understand the Torah. Yahuwah, you understand what it means to be before me. Listen, you are righteous. I have seen righteousness before me in this generation. Yeah. This generation that is about to be destroyed, but yet I got someone. Urrah 
Masashiya too that I have that I can pull out of this wicked, perverted, destined for destruction generation and establish a people. The Ura Masashiya too. See, because Yahuwah. Yahuwah will do what is necessary to establish his righteousness, his kingdom, his way of doing things in the Eretz. And he has sent Yahusha to establish his kingdom in the Eretz. And Yahusha has established it in us by the Father, by the Ruach HaKadosh. Right, right. See, in Apart from the Ruach HaKadosh, you not established in anything. Yeah. See, without the Ruach HaKadosh, you just that generation that's going to be destroyed. Yeah, without the Ruach HaKadosh, that's that earnest of the inheritance. That's that, that Ruach of truth that is in you, the Father and your Son in you. With that, you have eternal life. You are else. You are witnesses of the Besor and the Torah of truth because he has placed it in you. Right, right. The Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah will go to whatever lengths necessary to establish righteousness. He destroyed the surface of the earth with a flood. Wiped out everything and everybody body except that which received Yeshua in the ark that which was set apart right was in the ark Yahuwah he says he goes on to talk about the descriptions of the animals and so on and so forth but what I needed you to see is the fact that Yahuwah only, only saves those that he has established as righteous. Only the righteous, right? Let's look at Genesis, the 18th chapter, right? Here we have the angels, Malachim, Yahusha. Having visited Avraham and on their way to Sodom to destroy that wicked, wicked, diabolical, homosexual, perverse city. Destroy them. Wipe them out. Right? Right? Man? Here we have Avraham, right? Who wanted to petition you. Who reference to the salvation of those that are in the city you know Lot and his wife and his, his daughters and his son-in-laws lived there right and Sodom and Gomorrah you know and, you know it was interesting because you know initially you know and Adam and Ad, uh, um, Avraham and and, and um, Lot both of them started getting Prosperous and growing, right? Exponentially, it became a problem, right? And Avraham's herdsmen and Lot's herdsmen had conflict at times over water. And Avraham said, Abraham said, Abraham said, listen, listen, it's not good. We should not be this way with family. I tell you what, you choose what side you want to go towards. And he went towards Sodom. He went towards Sodom and Gomorrah. Took what he had, went towards Sodom. The city of sin. He went in that direction and Avraham went in the other direction. The righteous seed. That staggered not at the promises of Yahuwah through unbelief. Right. 
Abraham said, and Abraham drawing near and said, will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Right. Sodom was a stench in Yahushua's nostrils. It was unnatural. It was a city driven by the lusts the desires of men that was unabandoned. They did whatever their flesh wanted to do. You would say this wickedness has to be put out. Has to be put out. Has to be put out. You who is going to rescue Lot. His family. Avraham said. Wicked. Diabolical. Right? Wicked. Diabolical. Fornicators. The name of the city and of itself leads to the fornication that was rampant. In the city, fornicated, fornication was rampant in Sodom and Gomorrah. Yet Abraham says, "You, you who are listening, if you, you won't destroy the city to, if there's righteous people in there, will you? You're not going to just destroy the city. But you got righteous people in there, right?" He said, pre-adventure, if there be 50 righteous within the city, wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous that are there? So, 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 so I, I, Avraham is like, listen, Yahuwah, you are not going to destroy the city, the whole city? What if you got 50 righteous people there? What if you got just 50 righteous people? Is that enough to spare the city? Right? Avraham said, That be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked? Right? Right? And that thou, that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from thee, shall not the judge of all the earth do what is right. So here's Avraham right now. Avraham is pleading for the righteous, which is noble. Which is noble. Right? It's noble to intercede for the righteous amongst the wicked. Right? We who have the Ruach HaKadosh, I consider you who is righteous amongst the wicked. We who have you who is Ruach HaKadosh, we are sons and daughters of Elua. We are that righteous seed in the midst of the wicked. Avraham is saying to you, listen, Yahuwah, listen. If you got 50 righteous people, you're not going to destroy a city, are you? 50 righteous? Yeah, we know the bulk of them are, 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 are fornicators. We know the bulk of them are, 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 are sodomizers. We, 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 we understand that. But listen, if you got 50 righteous people in the midst of all those sodomites, will you yet destroy and destroy the 50? How can the judge of all the earth, right, do right, right? Yahuwah answered and said, if I find 50 righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sake, right? Now you got to understand, Yahuwah already knew there wasn't 50 righteous. It wasn't 50 righteous. 
He knew this. Right? Avraham, on the other hand, he didn't know it because he had no, he didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh. He didn't have the spirit of Yahuwah and Elua in him. He had the manifestation of Yahuwah and had the manifestation of Yahusha at times in their presence, but he didn't know. He, he, didn't, he didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? But he had a passion for people. You ain't going to destroy, you ain't going to cause the righteous to suffer. Because the wicked, right? You would say no. I spared a whole city for 50, right? And Abraham answered and said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto Yahuwah, which, and but dust. He said, Listen, I, 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 listen, I know I'm questioning you, and, you know, I'm but the dust. I mean, truth be told, you created me from the dust, and I really don't have a right to question your authority. Your knowledge, your superior ruako, right, intellect, right? I don't, I don't have a right to do that. I don't have a right to do that. I don't have a right to question whether or not, you know, you, 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 you over, possibly overstepping it if, you, if there's 50, right? Yahuwah said, pre-adventure, there, sh he says, pre-adventure, right? There shall lack 50, they lack five of the 50 righteous. Will thou destroy the city if it lacked five? And he said, if if I find 40 and five, I will not destroy it, right? He said, I'm not gonna destroy it if I find 45. Even though you keep dwindling the number down, you already know, I already know how many people there that are there, right? I already know, I already know, listen. I already know. And he spake unto him again and said, Preadventurely, if there be forty found there, and he said, I will not do it for forty's sake, right? And he said unto him, Oh, let not Yahuwah be angry, and I will speak preadventure, if there shall be thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty. Oh, I need 30. 30. 30. 30 righteous people who serve Alua. 30 righteous people who serve El, El Yon, El Shaddai. Listen, 30 people that serves Yahuwah Lua in the midst of the wickedness of the nation of Sodom and Gomorrah, whose stench, whose defiledness has come up before Yahuwah, their unnatural acts, right? That defies creation. Yeah, yeah, these defiled men defiled women 40 I'll find 40 and he said Yahuwah and Yahuwah went his way and as soon as, and Yahuwah went his way as soon as he had left communing with Avraham and Avraham returned unto his place, right? So, Avraham went home because he had walked with Yahuwah, right? He had walked with them and had conversations with Adonai Yahuwah, Yahusha. <laughs> Listen. Listen, Yahusha is going to destroy these nations. 
He's sending plagues and pestilence. He's going to destroy these nations. But out of them, the righteous, whom he has chosen, Lord, the righteous that he has put his seal on, the Ruach HaKadosh in, those who he has made eternals, those who refuse to sin because his seed remains in them. They are going to be preserved. The 19th chapter. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening. And Lot sat at the gate of Sodom. And Lot seeing rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face to the ground. Lot at the entrance of the gate of Sodom standing at the gate looking to protect and rescue a righteous seeing them rose up meet them and bowed himself his face towards the ground and he said behold now my Lord turn in I pray you unto thy servant's house and tarry all night and wash your feet and ye shall rise up early and go on your way and they said nay but we will abide in the streets all night We are here to serve judgment, to execute judgment. Lot is trying to protect when he needs to be protected. And he pressed unto them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did break unleavened bread, and they did eat. The Malachite went in to Lot's house and ate unleavened bread. Listen, listen. But before they laid down the men of the city, the men of Sodom, come past the house round about. Both old and young. All the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are these men which came out of this city? Bring them out that we may be sexually, intimately acquainted with them. You know how we do, Lot. Nobody enters this city whom we do not know. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out.
every man that comes into this city, we know them. Bring them out. Listen. He says that we might know. It is the Hebrew Yada. Strong's H three thousand forty five. Yada. 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 To know, to learn, to perceive, right? To know carnally. To know carnally. Right? To be made known. Right? To become acquainted with. Right? We may know them. Right? So, here we have Lot. Trying to protect some angels. Right? from being known. By the men of Sodom. He says Lot went out at the door until the and shut the door after him. Yeah, out went out the door and he closed the door behind him. And said, I pray you, brethren, do not this wickedly. Do not so wickedly. I'm begging you not to take these men and sodomize them. He said, behold, I have two daughters. which have not known men. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do ye unto them as good as your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under my shadow of my roof. Listen, what? They don't want your daughters? They sodomites. They don't want anything to do with your daughter. They're unclean. They don't want no virgins. Unless they're male. Listen. You who have delivered them. Lot. His daughters. And Lot's wife. Lot. His daughters. Right? Lot. His daughters. Right? He delivered Lot. And his daughters. And his wife. Right? One, two, three, four. Daughters. They had husbands. They were virgins. In verse 12, the man said unto Lot, Thou hast here any besides son-in-laws, thy sons and thy daughters, whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. 
He has son-in-laws. Sons and daughters. He says, And the men said unto Lot, Thou hast here any besides? Son-in-law? And thy sons? And thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in this city, bring them out of this place. That's what the angels, the Malachim said. You mean he has sons? That didn't come out? He had son-in-laws. Who didn't come out? All that left was Lot's two daughters and his wife. And she didn't even make it. Because she turned into a pillar of salt. Yahuwah will deliver you from a wicked city. Yahuwah destroyed the city of Sodom and Gomorrah and delivered righteous Lot and his daughters. Righteousness. Yahuwah knows how to deliver the righteous. Yahuwah knows how to deliver the righteous. Yahuwah will always deliver the righteous. Yahusha has established a righteous pathway. A way. A way that is witnessed in the Uretz. Listen. Righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Yahuwah has established his righteousness in us in the earth. His righteousness. Yahuwah will do whatever it takes to deliver his righteous seed. Yahuwah sent Yahusha to establish righteousness. Yahuwah sent Yahusha to establish righteousness. Yahusha is the way, the truth, and the light. Yahusha is the way to righteousness. You can on the 16th chapter, the 7th verse. Nevertheless, I tell you the Torah. Telling you the Torah. I'm telling you the Torah. I'm telling you the Torah. I'm telling you the Torah. Nevertheless, I'm telling you the Torah. I'm telling you the Torah. I'm telling you the Torah. It's expedient. It's necessary in order for the established end to occur. 
Listen, this is about righteousness. This is about establishing a right order. A righteous way of doing. A righteous kingdom. A righteous people. A righteous Torah. This is about righteousness that's in Hamashiach. A righteousness. Listen, righteous Lot was delivered. Right? He was delivered, him and his daughters. Right? He was delivered. Right? And soon after they were delivered, righteous Lot slept with his daughters and produced offspring. Yahusha is that righteous seed in you that's going to make the difference. Yahusha is that righteous seed in you that's going to make the difference. Listen. Yahuwah delivered righteous Noah and his righteous seed. But the promise came through Shem and Avraham. Everyone else, even though they knew Torah and they knew El Yon and El Shaddai, they went after worshiping idols. They went after worshiping Baal. They wish went after worshiping other Els. They had righteous. Noah, they had righteous Shem. They chose, they chose, they chose to not pursue righteousness. Yahuwah knew the plan. Hey, cut it out. Go it down. Yahuwah had a plan. Yahuwah had a plan. A righteous plan. A righteous Torah. To establish a righteous people. To establish a righteous kingdom. And that is in Hamashiach by the Ruach HaKadosh. This righteousness is essential. The Ruach HaKadosh is essential. Yahusha, the way, the truth, and the life is essential. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. There is no other way. There is no other deliverance. There is no other righteousness. There is no other means. There is no other access. He says, I tell you the truth, nevertheless, it's expedient that I go away. For if I go not away, the Ruach HaKadosh will not come. If I don't go away, the Ruach HaKadosh will not come. It's expedient. It's necessary. It's a means to the end. The Ruach HaKadosh in you is a means to the end. The Ruach HaKadosh in you is the means to the end. It's the means to the end. The Ruach HaKadosh in you. The Father, the Son in you is a means to the end. Ruach Hakadosh 
He says, for the Ruach HaKadosh will not come unto you. But if I leave, I will send him unto you. If I leave, I will send him unto you. And when he come, he going to reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. That's, that's the end game. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's the end game. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's the end game. Yahuwah will do what it takes to establish a righteous seed. Yahusha has established that righteous seed in the Ruach HaKadosh. This is the end game. This is the end game. The Ruach HaKadosh. Right? This is the end game. This is the Ephod. This is the menorah. This is the Ruach HaKadosh in you. This is the end game. Righteousness. And nothing shy of righteousness is acceptable. Nothing shy of the righteousness that is in Yahushua HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh is acceptable. Nothing. Nothing shy of the Ruach HaKadosh is acceptable. That's why there's a remnant. Because it's the Ruach HaKadosh in us. Yahuwah and Yahusha in us. Everybody's not going to make this. That's why Christians won't make it. Sitting around waiting for a rapture. No Ruach HaKadosh. No Ruach HaKadosh. No spirit of truth. No Ruach of truth. He says, and when he comes, he will reprove the world of sin. He's going to reprove the world of sin. It's the end game. Awakening, Hebrews, this is the end game. It's the end game. Yahuda, this is the end game. It's the gathering game. It's the remnant game. It's the end game. It's the end game. Yahuwa. And game. The Ruach HaKadosh is finished. Listen, it's finished. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's the end game. We're in the hour where you have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's the end game. He's called me to preach to you that you have to have the Ruach HaKadosh because this is the end game. This is not the church. This is not the shout. This is not that. This is not what they have taught you. This is not what that looks like. This is the Ruach in you. This is Yahu and Yahusha. This is the Ruach Kadesh. 
This is signs following. This is what's got to be in you. This is what he has to quicken in you. This is what has to make you alive. This is what has to put you in the beloved. This is what makes you righteous. Of sin because they believed not on me of righteousness because I do what is right. I go to my father. I follow the command that he gave me. See, the Ruach is going to convict of sin because that's just what it does. Righteousness in obedience. Obedience by keeping the commandments, obeying the Basura, the Torah. Because he goes to the Father. Because he was righteous and obedient in going to the Father. Now the Father could send you the Ruach HaKadosh, which is going to convict of sin and which is going to bring judgment. Because the prince of the world is judged. Because Yahushua has judged him already. By virtue of the fact that he's risen. By virtue of the fact his blood is sprinkled in the altar and the Shamaim. By virtue of the fact that Yahuwah, his father, says, okay, I'm satisfied. I am well pleased. I am satisfied. We will finish the work. The end game is established. We're releasing the Ruach HaKadosh into the hearts of those that we have chosen to establish the kingdom of Yahuwah in the earth to establish the people of Alua and to single them out to be righteous uh, righteous witnesses of of the basura of truth in obedience and in demonstration and in power right demonstration these signs shall follow them to believe in power exousia in a Authority in the Shamaim and the Aretz. This is the end game. That's the end game. This is the end game. This is the end game. Yashiro, Yahuda. Grafted in. This is the end game. Yata the Ruach Agadesh. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's what sets you apart. The Ruach HaKadosh. That's what it is. He says, I have many things to say unto you, but you can't bear it now because you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. I got stuff to tell you. I got things that I need to say to you, but you can't bear them now. You can't, you can't, you ain't, you ain't in a position to receive them like you need to be. He says, listen, how be it when the Ruach HaKadosh has come, he will guide you. This is not Christianity. This is not that doctrine. This is not that teaching. It is not that. It's not that. This is not that. This is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel in the last days concerning the outpouring of his ruach upon all flesh. The flesh that the ruach is being poured out on is those who have received the witness but the knowledge and the conviction of sin yeah that's coming out because the ruach filled people of Yahuwah is moving to and fro with the witness of the ruach and the basura of truth in their mouth and they're convicting of sin and they're bringing judgment because of the righteousness of Yahuwah and Yahusha in them. It's the end game. The end game. It's the end game. It's the end game. It's the 
again in Ruach Kadesh in us. In the awakened Hebrews, it's the end game. In the awakened Gentiles, it's the end game. The Ruach Kadesh. How be it that when the Ruach Kadesh of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth, it's the end game. Right? For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak. And he shall shew you all things come. Listen, 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 listen. Whosoever speaks, let it be it were the oracles of Alua. Whosoever serves, let him do by the let him do so by the ruach, the strength with Yahuwah supplies, so that Yahuwah in all things in Hamashiach may receive glory and honor. Listen. Shruach. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, man of Yah, woman of Yah, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, man of Yah, woman of Yah, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh, you got to have the Ruach, you have to have the Ruach, these signs shall follow them with the Ruach, you have to have the Ruach, right, you have to have the fruit of the Ruach. They have to have the gifts of the Ruach. You have to have the Ruach in order to be his else. And you know, this is the end game. This is the end game. The Ruach of the Dash. It's the end game. No matter what you see. It's the end game. The Ruach of the Dash in you. That would set you apart. That makes you his. That's what establishes you in the beloved. That's the end game. That's how you know you've passed from death to life. You have a Ruach HaKadosh in you. That's the end game. That's the eternals. That's righteousness. That's what they don't want you to know. Who is revealing his Ruach HaGadesh to his people. He's revealing himself in the Ruach HaGadesh to his people. He says here, he shall glorify me and he shall receive of mine and he shall shew it unto you, right? The Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh. Right. Let's go to that 17th chapter. Right. He says in the 17th chapter. Yehusha. These words spake Yehusha as he lifted up his eyes to the Shamayim. And said, Abba, the hours come, glorify thy son, that thy son might glorify thee. Right? The end game. The establishment of the kingdom. The end game. Listen. The end game. This is what it's all about. This is why I came. He says, as thou hast given him all power, as thou hast given him the Ruach HaKadosh over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. He has given me the capacity by the Ruach HaKadosh to give eternal life. He says, and this is eternal life. That they may know thy only true Elua and Yahushua Hamashiach whom thou hast sent. Yahusha. Yah salvation. That they may know him. It's not just the water and the blood. 
It's the entire witness. The Ruach HaKadosh. Because all three of these agree. I have glorified thee in the earth. I have finished the work what thou hast given me to do. I have finished. It's the end game. It's the end game, you. We can now, upon the completion of the end game, Reestablish your kingdom in the Eretz. We can establish your kingdom in the Eretz. Listen. The end game. We can establish your kingdom in the Eretz. We can reestablish what the diamond of I have lost. And I know that I still have to come back. Right, but we have the hallmarks, we have the foundation, we have what we need to bring conviction of sin to the earth, demonstration of the Ruach power of Yahuwah. We can judge wickedness now because we have a righteous seed in the earth that's going to judge because of the righteous Ruach, because of the Father and the Son in them. Finish the work. And now, O oh Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world began. Bring me back to where I was with you and the Shammai on the right hand. I know there's suffering that's going to precede this, but that's the destination. That's the restoration. That's the witness in the Shammai, the Basar, the Torah made flesh, restored to the place of where it is, the Shammai. Where Abba and the Word and the Ruach HaKadosh are. He said, listen, 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 listen. I have manifested thy name unto the man which thou gave me out of the world. Listen. Yahuwah gave Yahusha me out of the world. Yahuwah gave Yahusha to me from out of the world. I'm his. He's mine. Me and you, you and me. Me and you, you and me. Me and you, you and me, you and me, me and you. Out of the world. I was always Yahuwah's, but he gave me the Yahusha. He gave Yahusha me. Right? He said, Thine they were, but thou gavest to me, and I have, and they have kept thy word. I am going to declare this Basura. You must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. It's the end game. The Basura, the Torah of truth. It's the end game. You, you have to receive it. 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 That's the end game. You have to receive it. You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. It is the end game. Now they have known that all things which whereof thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given them the words which thou hast given me. 
Yahoo are the words that you've given me. I've given to these people. <laughs> so, for I have given unto them the words that thou hast given me, and they have received them, and have known that surely I have come out of thee, and they have believed that thou didn't send me. Listen, I believe Yahusha is the son of Belua. I believe the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh, baptism, and the water, and the blood. I believe, excuse me. I believe the witness. Oh, yeah. I believe the witness. I believe the word. I, I believe the word. I believe the witness. I believe the Basar, the Torah of truth. I believe it. I believe it. And if this Basar be hid, it be hid to those who are lost. And whom the hell of this world Christianity Black. <laughs> uh, man, yeah this is this is one of them to be hated messages yeah yeah for I have given them the words of He says, for I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but I pray for those that has given me out of the world, right? Now let's go on to, uh, where is that? Where is that? Is that it? Um, he says, sanctify through thy, through thy truth. Set them apart through thy truth. Set them apart through thy truth. Now let's jump down to the 17th verse, 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. The Ruach HaKadosh of truth sanctifies. The, the Ruach HaKadosh sets you apart. Right? Sanctifying them through the truth is sanctifying them through the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. To sanctifying them through the truth of the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. He says, thy word is truth. The word of truth and the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Right? It sets us apart. You're not just set apart by the Torah. You're set apart by the Ruach HaKadosh of truth and the Basura Torah. Yahushua didn't come just as the Torah. He came as the Torah with the Ruach HaKadosh. Had Yahushua, had it been enough for Yahushua to just be the Torah of truth in the earth, he would have never needed to be baptized. He would have never be, needed to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Right, and he would have never needed to have a word spoken from the Shamaim that uh, a bore witness to his presence. Yehuqanah would have never needed to say upon whom Yahuwah said that that which the Ruach HaKadosh he sees descending on him, right? He is going to baptize with the Ruach HaKadosh. If it was never necessary, right? And if it was just the Torah of Yahuwah Shehusha alone, it's the Torah and the Ruach HaKadosh. It is the Torah and the Ruach HaKadosh. It is the Word made flesh that dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as it were the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth it is Yahushua HaMashiach it is the Ruach HaKadosh of truth he says sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth 
For as thou hast sent me into the world, even so I send them into the world. I'm sending them into the world. I ain't sending them to the world without the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why I need you to sanctify them with the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Come on now. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. He says, as I have sent them into the world, even so as you have, as thou hast sent me into the world with the Ruach HaKadosh and the Besor and the Torah of truth, right? Even so also I sent them into the world. I'm sending them into the world. They ain't gone into the world yet now. Don't get it twisted. They had to receive the Ruach HaKadosh on the day of Pentecost and Yahushua still had to die. He still had to go into Sheol. He still had to go into Shamaim with his blood for the altar and he still had to have the Father be happy with whatever with everything that has done and then send the Ruach HaKadosh. Don't get it twisted. He said, sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify. Set them apart. The Ruach HaKadosh is true. How be it? Verse 13. When the Ruach HaKadosh of truth is come, when he arrives, when the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth arrives, when he arrives, right? He will guide you into our truth. He will guide you into our truth. He will guide you into our truth. He will guide you into our truth, right? He shall speak not of himself, but whatsoever that he hears, he shall speak, and he will show it unto thee. The Ruach HaKadosh of Truth, right? He said, he said, he says, sanctify them. Praying to Yusha. Yusha's praying to Yahuwah to sanctify them. The Ruach HaKadosh. Set them apart as you set me apart. Listen, he set them apart. He set Yusha apart by putting in his Ruach HaKadosh without measure. He had all power in the Shamaim. As thou hast given him all power over all flesh. Thou hast given him all power over all flesh. Thou hast given Yahushua all power over all flesh. Yahushua was sanctified. He was the Basora. He was the Torah made flesh. But he was received, he received the Ruach HaKadosh, which was the power of Yahuwah, right? To sanctify him, to set him apart in the Aretz, having all power in the Shamaim and the Aretz. Sanctify them. He says, listen, okay, so he said to sanctify, he says, sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them through thy Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Sanctify them. He sanctified Yahushua through the Ruach HaKadosh. He set Yahushua apart by the Ruach HaKadosh. Okay. So he sanctified Yahushua with the Ruach HaKadosh and the Besor of Truth, the Torah of Truth. He's going to sanctify us with the Torah of Truth and, and the Word, and the Besor of Truth. They work together. The Torah and the Besor. The Torah and the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? He says, for their sakes, I sanctify myself. I, I complied with the words of you, Yahuwah, in fulfilling all things. And because I did, right, I sanctified, I set myself apart by your Ruach HaKadosh. And by your Torah of truth, I set myself apart. I sanctified myself. That they also might be sanctified through thy truth. The Ruach HaKadosh of truth. This is going to only speak that which the Father hears from what the Father says. 
the Ruach HaKadosh of truth is going to only declare the Besor of truth. Listen, that's why Christianity is a lie. Because what they preach is not the Besor of truth based on the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. How do you come up with these doctrines, right? These doctrines that aren't established in the Ruach HaKadosh. They're not revealed by the Ruach of Truth. These doctrines are lies. They're lies. For their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth, right? That they might be sanctified through the, through the truth. Sanctification is righteousness. Sanctification comes as a result of the witness. Having received the witness, of the Ruach HaKadosh, the Ruach, of the Ruach HaKadosh, the water baptism and the blood. Having received that witness, gift of the Ruach HaKadosh is the Ruach witness. Having received that, right, you would come his. You belong to him. You were his. He's yours. The end game. That's what it's all about. The end game. The big picture. You who I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. That this Besorah, this Torah, this word would resonate. Yahuwah. This is the end game. You have called me to declare to your people they need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. It's the end game. The Ruach HaKadosh is the end game. Yahuwah and Yahusha in you. The end game. Yahuwah, I pray that they would receive this Basora. Those that have an ear to hear. you, I know it's not for everybody. I know everybody ain't going to receive it. I know everybody ain't going to want to understand it. I know. I need, listen, I understand you, but I pray that for those who have an ear to hear, I pray that they would understand it, receive it, and walk in it. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach. I pray for the sick. I pray for my, my Ak, James, Yahuwah. Touch him and his family, his kids and their bodies. I speak healing to them. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, be ye healed. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be ye healed. I pray for other families, and Ruako families in Yahuwah and Yahushua who who are, who are kindreds, I pray that they would be healed and that they would be blessed, that the Ruach HaKadosh would have the preeminence in them. Yahuwah, I pray this. Yahuwah, I pray that the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. By the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, I pray that the eyes of their understanding being enlightened, that they would know what is the hope of their calling. And what the riches of the glory of the inheritance is in the saints and what the exceeding greatness is of the Ruach HaKadosh in them who believe according to the working of your mighty power which you wrought when you raised Yahushua HaMashiach from the dead caused him to sit at your right hand and then gave unto us the Ruach HaKadosh to be witnesses, to be righteous witnesses 
to convict of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Yahuwah, I pray, I pray, I pray. In the name of Yahushua, let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah. That's what Yahuwah gave me today. My prayer is, is that it would make you alive, that it would quicken you, that you would be able to, by the Ruach HaKadosh, make the connection. Because it's Ruach. You know, if you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, I don't really expect you to remotely understand it, to be lost. <laughs> I really don't. But if you have a desire and an ear to hear or a desire to want to hear, pray you who is Ruach HaKadosh to reveal itself in you. And then pray you who is Ruach HaKadosh to reveal the Basura of truth in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Man of Yah, woman of Yah called the greatness. Listen, woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made today, Yahuwah has favored you. Walk in this Basura, this Torah of truth, and it will be life. With that I say, Shalom, Shalom, and Shalom. Torah Garden. Speaking the absolute truth, yeah. Torah Nation.